us the official policy of investing in Ghana. As you know, the, there are certain agencies that answer directly to the president. And the Ghana Investment Promotion Center is one of those agencies. So we are happy that uh, every year the Ghana government recognize you, recognize you as a viable investor, and to welcome you officially, okay? To welcome you officially. So uh, I was told there was two coming. Are you Gideon or Timothy? Okay. Okay, great. We're going to let you say a few words to our people about the laws of Ghana and investing. Let's give a big round of applause for Brother Timothy. All right, um, thank you very much, and um, I wish to welcome all of you on behalf of um, the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. Ghana Investment Promotion Center is the agency established to coordinate, promote, and facilitate investment into the country. And we do this by registration of um, investment, providing um, advisory as to where and where you can look at who and who you should meet and who you can talk to to help you um, achieve your goal and your vision. Um, Ghana Investment Promotion Center is established by an act, um, Act 865, and that gives guidance as to what the center is supposed to do that you can get on our website and read later on. So I'll just go through some of the highlights of the act and then um, the practical aspect of um, how to get registered in the country. First of all, if you wish to register or invest in Ghana, any company that has foreign participation or local, it's just a local, you'd have to first of all um, register with a registrar general's department. That is where you determine your name, the name of the company, what you want to do, who are the directors, who are the shareholders, what the shareholding structure and all those things. After you are done with that, then you can look at confirm um, your investment, registering of your investment, which is with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. And with the registration of your investment, per the law, you are required to show some investment levels, or we call it foreign equities, um, that you are not just coming to the country to make money off the country, but um, you are coming in with something which would generate returns for you. So the law has stipulated um, 200,000 US dollars for JVs that you are in partnership with a Ghanaian. Um, wholly foreign owned is um, 500,000 US dollars. And if you are just importing or you are just doing commercial trading, the important distributor or sell is 1 million US dollars. Um, the Act also take, uh, recognizes the, where Ghana is and where we want to go. Um, so it gives some exemptions for those figures when we come to manufacturing. So for manufacturing, you are coming to process something, you just come in, register, and begin. You don't need to show any evidence of any foreign equity. Um, we call another one liaison or um, external office. Maybe you have a, an office or a, a company in the US and you establish a branch here in Ghana just to maybe take, take up intelligence for your um, parents' company in the US. That one too, you don't have to bring in anything. Unless, of course, that company is going to um, do business in Ghana as in receive payment and you. So, if you are not going to do any of that, it's just maybe research based organization. That one you don't need to show any evidence of. And also, um, investment in the stock exchange or the portfolio um, investment. That one too, you don't, uh, you're not required to show any investment in Ghana before you can just um, jump in into the, wherever you see the stock that you are interested in, you can just buy into it. That one you have to go through the brokers. So how do you show evidence of your investment in the country? After you have incorporated with the registrar general's department, you are required to open a bank account with any of the local banks. 
foreign currency, local currency, um, transfer the money into the foreign currency account, and convert the money uh, to the local currency. Um, it's only the converted amount that we recognize. We don't recognize the amount that you transfer into the foreign currency because that one can anytime be transferred out. So you always make sure that all your money that you are bringing into the country comes through the banking system. That's if you are bringing in money. Because uh, if it does not go to the banking system, we do not recognize it. Yeah. So um, once it goes to the banking system, you request your bankers to confirm to Bank of Ghana. Bank of Ghana will confirm to GIBC directly and would notify your bank and your company as well. So alongside that, you complete our forms and uh, make available your uh, registration documentation. With, uh, once the um, letter from Bank of Ghana comes in, then we can go through the process. Within five working days, you should be having your certificates of registration with GIBC. If you are doing manufacturing, and for that matter, you are going to import um, your plant machinery or whatever it is, um, what you do is you import in the company's name, clear from the port, and after that you can submit um, those uh, or the declarance documents, originals of the shipping and clearance documents to GIBC for recognition as uh, investment into the country. Now, some benefits. Once you have um, registered, the GIBC recognizes the fact that you have to stay in the country to oversee your business, or you may have to appoint somebody you can trust, uh, which means that you can appoint somebody else, not being yourself, to come over and oversee the business. Um, for that matter, we have what we call the automatic quota allocations, um, which is tied to your investment. From 50,000 up to 250,000 is um, one, you will be allocated to employ one person, one foreigner. So you can either bring yourself up or you can bring any person you have, you have trust in to manage the business for you in. From 250,000 up to 500,000, you have two automatic quotas, 500 to 700, you have three. Above 700, you have four. Aside those automatic quotas, if um, you need a skill set that you cannot find in Ghana, you are allowed to apply for what we call the short-term work permit. And that is up to a maximum of five years. And that's for, we understand the person would have to sort out whatever um, issues that he has with his skill set, and also train other people that um, maybe Ghanaians to take over from him or her uh, within the five years, even though sometimes it's a bit challenging. Also, if you are bringing in your equipment, um, which is core to your business, maybe for manufacturing plants, equipment, um, the GIBC can support you for exemption um, from payment of um, import duty, um, which usually goes from maybe about 5% um, to 25% or 35% sometimes, depending on the item that you are bringing. But generally, uh, plants and machinery are around 5%. They used to be zero, but because of the common uh, signal tariffs or common um, ECOWAS, the ECOWAS um, custom taxation issues, that's why now it's 5%. But also, government is still working on it to uh, bring it back to um, the zero percent so that you can just bring them without uh, um, import duties. So, what areas um, are available? Uh, my brother already spoke about one, which is um, the agriculture and ag agro-processing. So we want to um, produce our own food and process them just for ourselves, if possible, and export those that are in excess. So agriculture, organic, as he said, is very fine. Myself, I try to do organic most of the time. And then you have healthcare. Healthcare, the hospitals, the clinics, and all its really, um, health related issues. If you have a skill set in it, 
you are all, most welcome to join us. Um, ICT, yes, we know the US is quite advanced in um, ICT issues, so you may have expertise there, many um, opportunities for you here in Ghana. You have tourism, manufacturing, waste processing, and the like. There are many, many. But our advice always is that um, you come from strength. It's very important. What you are skilled in, in whatever you are doing up there, you bring that skill set down. And um, so I think on that, I will just um, end it. And I want to say that Ghana Investment Promotion Center is very happy to have you around um, to enjoy the culture of the nation and also look out for opportunities. And um, GIPC is ready and willing to support um, any desires that you have in terms of investment. And we are ready to offer you the necessary guidance and advice for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.